Hello and welcome to another painting video. In this video I'll be painting some scenery from the latest Warcry box set Red Harvest. These scenery pieces are from a mining operation and look really cool and chaosy. With the following steps you'll be able to paint the entire set. Let's begin shall we? I primed the scenery with Death Guard Green. This works really well for a base of the rotting wood and stone walls. I paint the wood with dryad bark. I use a dry brush for this. First off, this is a bit faster and second I want the primer color to shine through at places. I shade all the wood with Agrax earth shade. I use a thick coat here. Next I use Bialtan Green to paint some of the wood. This gives the wood a rotten look and makes an entire platform of wood look a bit more diverse in color. I do the same with Saigor Brown. This darkens the dryad bark really nicely. I also add Saigor Brown to the underside of the platform. To add a highlight to the wood, I dry brush Bane Blade Brown. I try to focus on the edges and areas where I assume a lot of walking is done. I add another highlight of Usapti Bone to the edges and wherever is applicable. Lastly I use Hopgrad Hide to dry brush the broken off and rotten edges of the wood. Wood is the most used material in this scenery so I think it's worth to vary it up a little bit. Because there is so much of it I did only pick out two variations. But you can experiment with other washes or contrast paints to see what colors the wood nicely. Next I'll tackle all the metal parts. I paint everything with Iron Warriors. I paint all the decorations and trimmings of the wood with Retributor Armor. I shade all the metal and brass with Agrax Earthshade. I use a very thick coat here to really dirty up everything. Finally I dry brush Rune Fang Steel on the metal and brass to highlight. The brass trimmings and parts that hold the wood together are very time consuming to paint. Take your time for this, but once finished it will look really good on the scenery. The mining equipment has been built on some old ruins. I first dry brush Celestra Grey on these ruins. Then I shade the ruins with Agrax Earthshade. Next I come back with Celestra Grey and dry brush it back on the ruins again. I dry brush White Scar on the ruins. I only keep to the higher parts or where light would hit the ruins. The little bricks I paint with Black Templar. And highlight with a dry brush of Administratum Grey. This is the same way I painted my ruins of the original Warcry box set. Painting the little bricks breaks up the ruins nicely and it looks way more interesting. You can't have some chaos scenery without some skulls and skeletons. I paint these with Usapti Bone. Then shade them with Skeleton Horde. 
and highlight them with Screaming Skull. On all the sluice segments we have some Varanite. I want to paint this a bit odd. First I base coat it with Zerius Purple. Then I lightly dry brush Slanish Grey on the Varanite. I do the same with a mix of Slanish Grey and White Scar. Next I use Moot Green and pick up some areas on the Varanite. I highlight these areas with White Scar. Then I add Tesseract Glow to the green segments. I also add this paint to the sluice itself. Finally I use Druggy Violet on the sluice again. This Varanite looks a bit more like a substance that Chaos would actually use instead of the more traditional lava rock that GW painted. This might not be everyone's choice but I like it. Adding some streaks of green and purple on the metal makes it look like a lot of Varanite has already gone through this equipment. The scenery have small parts of the ground which I want to match with the playing board. First I paint with Mornfang Brown. Then I shade with Karaburk Crimson. I'll add two highlights. The first is Steel Legion Drab. And the second is Baneblade Brown. Finally, I add a pigment powder called Burnt Umber from Green Stuff World to darken the ground a bit. You can use this powder on the platforms as well to simulate warriors dragging dirt onto the platforms. And here we have some examples of Red Harvest scenery. I can't wait to play some games with this scenery as it looks fantastic. In order to paint everything, I divided all the scenery in four batches. Each batch has a big piece and three smaller pieces. I find this a lot more doable than do everything in one go. How do you paint your scenery? Let me know in the comments. Next up I'm going to have a look at the first warband in this box, the Dark Oath Savages. Which are totally not Conan lookalikes of course. In the meantime be sure to check out my Instagram where I post pictures of current projects and behind the scenes stuff. But for now. Thanks for watching.